Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I have for you my November favourites. I cannot believe how close Christmas is already. I'm getting really, really excited if you couldn't tell, but today I want to share with you some of the beauty and non-beauty products that I've been loving over the past month. So starting off with a body wash, I have been in love with the Dettol Pro Fresh Peach Burst pH Balanced Shower Gel. This is the big girl bottle, like it's 950 mils. I won't run out of this for a very long time. It has a handy pump and it just smells delicious. I love, love, love peach scents and it cleans my body well. It's supposed to um, protect against odor causing germs. I, I don't know if that's a gimmick or what, but it does definitely get you clean. It lathers up nicely and it smells heavenly. So love that. A new foundation that I purchased this month is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. I really, really have been enjoying this one. It is a really lightweight, very like liquidy foundation that goes on the skin and gives you a really natural finish. It does have quite buildable coverage so you can sheer it out or you can get decent coverage from it and overall I think it's a really lovely foundation. I think it was around $59 and I picked it up from David Jones. Worth checking out if you like things like the uh, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua or even the um, YSL Touche Eclat foundation. It, it has that kind of vibe to it. I really, really like it. A cheek favourite this month is the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolour Cheek Jelly. I actually have this one on my cheeks today. It's pink escape. I just really love the formula of these. They have this, it's quite a unique formula. It almost looks like a lip balm, but it's very, very creamy and you can kind of just tap it on your cheeks. Again, this is one that you can sheer out or build up the color and it gives you a really natural kind of flush from within kind of look. Really, really like that one. Very long wearing as well. I have a mascara favorite and I have a mascara fail to share with you this month. The favorite is the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform High Impact Volumizing Mascara. Really, really like this one again it's what I've got on my lashes today although I do have some falsies on the outer corners this has a kind of quite a unique brush it is asymmetrical and it is really really tiny with little rubber bristles but I love that because I can get in really close to my lash line really work the product up it seems to give me volume and length and separation and I just I, I highly, highly rate this mascara. It's definitely a new uh, all-time favorite of mine. My mascara fail is gonna be a little bit controversial because I've seen it in so many people's favorites videos and that's why I decided to try it. And it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I had really high hopes for this and maybe that's kind of why I don't like it that much because I was expecting more. It has a really large brush and it does definitely give you volume and drama to your lashes, but I find that for me, it's really difficult for me to apply without getting it on my lid or somewhere on my face. No matter what I do, no matter how careful I am, because of the size of the brush and like the, the wetness of the product, I seem to always get it on me. And on me, it also flaked towards the end of the day, which is a problem that I don't usually struggle with, I don't usually have much of an issue with mascaras kind of leaving marks around my eyes or flaking off, and this one seemed to for me. So I'm not going to give up on it because I know so many people love it, but first impressions, I really don't like that one, this one that much, which is kind of a shame. I do think that if you want to try this one, it reminds me a lot of the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam, and this one is probably half the price, if that. And it has a very similar brush, quite a similar formula, and on me, it gives quite a similar result. It even has that kind of um, brush that goes in and out. Very, very similar. I didn't mind the Retro Glam one, and maybe that is because it was quite inexpensive and it did a decent job, and um, even though it was a bit difficult to apply as well, I didn't mind so much, but overall I think that for me this one I would probably give it a miss and spend my money on a different high-end mascara because I think you'll probably get better results. As always I have a few lip product loves to share with you guys today. The first one is what I'm wearing on my lips. It is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Greta. I love the packaging of these and this is just a really bright fun pink color. It's a perfect way to wear bold lips in spring and summer. I just think it's really eye-catching and this is a quite a wearable pink color because even though it's bright, it still has those kind of berry undertones to it, which I think kind of brings it down a notch and, and makes it a little bit more wearable. I quite like the formula of these. They're really pigmented. They feel quite thin on the lips as well, not heavy at all. Another favorite of mine has been the Lime Crime Velveteen in Wicked. I picked this up at iMats this year and I've been loving it ever since. It is this really deep, dark kind of 
burgundy red shade. I think this makes an awesome holiday lipstick, an awesome Christmas lip color. It's just, it's gorgeous. I love the way it dries down to that kind of velvety matte finish absolutely stunning and my last lip product favorite is one that i recently hauled a high-end product it is by by terry and it is the rouge terribly in bare instinct i've just worn this a lot as like an everyday lipstick i think it's a really nice work color for me and it seems to, to suit my skin tone it feels nice on the lips it's easy to apply and reapply throughout the day i just i really really have been enjoying this one and getting a lot of wear out of it my last beauty favorite is a fragrance and this one i've had in a favorites video before I always crack it out again as we move towards the summer months. It is the Harajuku Lovers uh, Perfume in G. This one just smells <sighs> like a holiday on a tropical island. It is really coconutty and it kind of smells a little bit like coconut oil or body oil, things that you would apply during summertime and that's why I absolutely love it for the summer months. I just I really really like this one you can pick it up quite inexpensively I've got the baby bottle which I picked up from Priceline um, you can't even get the bigger bottle and that's still quite inexpensive it is a great summer holiday perfume and I just I recommend if you get a chance give it a whiff because I think you'll really really enjoy it particularly if you like coconutty scents a couple of fashion favorites that I have the first one is just top shop clothes in general I don't know why but I've been really really into top shop lately there's a top shop in the city near where I work so I often go up there at lunchtime and see what they've got because they're constantly forever getting in new stock I feel like I have to go there almost every day otherwise I'm gonna miss something I, I don't go there every day uh, but that's kind of what it feels like I do feel like it's a little bit on the pricey side some things are a little bit overpriced but they do have a really cool range of clothes and for whatever reason I've just been really loving the stuff that they've had so the other fashion favorite is actually this necklace I picked up on ASOS it's by Oasis and my hair is all caught in it but I think it's really really pretty it has these kind of plum stones in it and these light pink stones it's just a nice necklace that I can kind of dress down and use to maybe dress up like a plain t-shirt or you could wear it with a fun party dress and it would make a really pretty evening outfit look so I've been loving that one and I'll try and link that in the description box below if it's still available my food favorite for the month is actually a condiment no wait it's actually two condiments ketchup and yellow mustard what happens when you put them together you get cheeseburger sauce how has it taken me 25 years of my life to work out that I could get the sauce that's on a cheeseburger and use it for chips or for chicken or for anything else that I have at home? I use like four parts ketchup or tomato sauce to one part yellow mustard and it tastes like the sauce on a cheeseburger from Macca's. I just, I, I love it. I've been, every time I use sauce right now, I've been adding the mustard to it and I just, I, I love this together. If you like cheeseburger sauce, what are you waiting for? It is amazing. As for music, I am still utterly addicted to Taylor Swift 1989. I've just been listening to that album on repeat constantly since I got it. So for over a month now, it is just it's perfection. I love it and I'm, I'm not sick of it yet. The only other two songs that I have to mention are Falling For You by Lady Antebellum and Get Me Back by Mimi and the Mad Noise Factory. So I'll link both of those or videos for those in the description box below so you guys can check them out if you are interested. And I think that'll be it for my November favorites. Please share with me your favorites from this past month in the comments below. I love hearing what things you've been loving. Also check the description box for a list of products as well as my social media links come say hi to me there. I always have a whole heap of information in that description box, so please check it out. And other than that, I hope you guys are all having a lovely day, and I'll talk to you guys all next time. Bye!